Hello everyone, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom, where we explore the hidden powerhouse within your body and find out why you can't blame your sneakers for that midday energy crash forever. I'm Ethan, your friendly neighborhood observer of the human condition. And I'm Alara, the one who believes jokes should always be fully charged, just like your mitochondria. So in today's episode, we're diving into this idea that our entire well-being hinges on the health of our cells. But Ethan, I hear you cry, I'm more than just a pile of cells. True, you're also about 60% water and a great personality, but it turns out these cells and the microscopic mitochondria within them are basically the difference between bounding around like a golden retriever and lying on the couch feeling like a three-toed sloth that missed its morning coffee. Don't forget, mitochondria are often called the power plants of the cell. They're the folks spinning the hamster wheel that keeps your entire body running. If they're not happy, it's like having a cranky old generator that flickers every time you turn on the microwave. You end up with sluggish energy, a dysfunctional immune system, and a laundry list of chronic issues you'd rather not have. Our mission, help you see why focusing on these little guys can change your life. So let's talk about modern medicine's habit of going for the symptom instead of the source. We have an epidemic of, let's just put a bandage on that bullet hole, or let's whack that mole on the head. Maybe another one won't pop up. Too often we'll do something like, take a pill to mask joint pain, ignoring that the problem might lie in the cell's inability to deal with inflammation in the first place. Meanwhile, the real question is, what's fueling the engine? Or in our bodies, what's fueling the mitochondria? Are we giving them premium-grade nutrients and rest? Or are we trying to run them on sugar packets and sporadic naps in the supply closet? I've tried the sugar packet slash napping approach. I can confirm that the results are subpar. Now, the approach we're talking about says your chronic issues, arthritis, depression, fatigue, aren't simply random. They're your body's way of waving a giant red flag that says, hey buddy, is anyone paying attention? Something's off at the cellular level. Absolutely. We love to chase the next miracle pill that hushes the alarm bells, but doesn't solve the underlying meltdown. It's like if you kept hitting snooze on your smoke detector rather than putting out the fire. Eventually, the house is in flames while you're still in your pajamas. Did you say pajamas? Because I'm a fan of wearing them all day. But let's keep going. This leads us into the concept of comprehensive, energy-centric medicine. Instead of focusing on shutting that alarm off, you ask, why is my body in alarm mode in the first place? And once you figure that out, you address it at the root. Often, that root is about energy, cellular energy. If the mitochondria have enough energy to heal tissues, regulate inflammation, and do the metabolic chores, the body can fix the deeper issues. Suddenly, you're not trapped in whack-a-mole with your symptoms. That is, if you can find a doctor who's in the business of identifying root causes and not just meeting daily quotas of pills prescribed, it's the difference between a crisis manager, someone who only deals with the immediate meltdown, and a cellular health mechanic, a person who figures out exactly why your check body light is on. Picture it this way. You take your car to a mechanic because it keeps stalling. A crisis manager might say, let's just give you a push whenever it stalls. Meanwhile, a real mechanic asks, why is your engine stalling? And how can we fix that so you can drive without random heroic shoves in traffic? That second guy is definitely who I want under my hood. Now, let's shift gears and talk about the supplement industry. Because, yes, you might say, I'm going to boost my cellular health with a few vitamin pills. But hold your horses. You'd think the supplement industry would be full of philanthropic angels sprinkling us with health fairy dust. Instead, a lot of them focus on the sprinkling part. Sprinkling cheap ingredients, questionable fillers, and a marketing pitch that makes it all look like unicorn tears in a bottle. Exactly. We have private equity firms snapping up supplement companies, slapping on fancy labels, and pumping them out at warp speed. Then you read the label and realize it's not exactly top-notch. Some of these companies cut corners on the quality of ingredients, so the stuff in the bottle barely absorbs into your system. It's like trying to fill up a pool with a leaking hose. Or using a straw to fill a pool. Great marketing, but the final result is a whole lot of disappointment. Meanwhile, we as consumers feel like we did something good for our health by purchasing a supplement that costs more than a decent pair of shoes. And if it's not absorbed, the entire investment goes right down the drain or out of the digestive tract. Precisely. And that's why we need transparency. We need brands that say, hey, here's where we source our ingredients. Here's how we ensure they're not full of pesticides. Here's the advanced delivery system that guarantees your body can actually use these nutrients. Because if they won't say it, we should probably ask, what are they hiding? The leftover carnival funnel cake batter? Now, for the record, funnel cake batter as a supplement is definitely not recommended. But I might still want to try it once purely for scientific reasons. I'll let you handle that experiment. I'll stand by to call 911, or a cellular health mechanic, whichever is more appropriate. Now that leads us to the bigger picture. Real healthcare means acknowledging the body's amazing capacity to heal when you address the root cause. It means using certain interventions, like supportive supplements, good nutrition, detoxification, even things like red light therapy or targeted fasting, to give mitochondria the best shot at thriving. 
Let's talk about Ashley Armstrong, who co-founded Angel Acres Egg Company. She ate clean, tried various diets, keto, carnivore, intermittent fasting, but guess what? She felt like she was on a perpetual hamster wheel. She was alive, obviously, but not truly thriving. One day, she checked her body temperature and realized it was significantly below 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. That's usually an indicator that your metabolism might be in low power mode, like a phone stuck on power saving setting. Everything's dim and slow because it doesn't have enough juice. It wasn't just about carbs are bad or fasting is good. It was about giving her body the right conditions to get the internal generator humming again. She shifted her perspective, started fueling her body with nourishing foods, carbs included, and suddenly the lights came back on. Suddenly, she had a better metabolism, more energy, no more dread around food. The big lesson, it was all about focusing on that deeper energy mechanism. Exactly. And it proves that once you deal with the foundation, the energy production, your body can handle repairs you didn't even realize were related to your cells. This approach flips the traditional script of just symptom suppression. Instead, you ask, what's broken in the basement? Not, how can I decorate the living room to distract from the creaky floor? The new role of doctors we touched on means combining diagnostic tools we know, blood tests, imaging, with deeper insights on mitochondrial health, like checking for insulin resistance, nutrient deficiencies, or what we might call reductive or oxidative stress. That approach means your doctor might ask about your sleep cycle or check your toxin exposure. They'll want to see how your stress levels are impacting your mitochondria. They might recommend detox, maybe some form of light therapy, or specialized supplements that actually get into the cell instead of bouncing off like a tennis ball hitting a brick wall. Also, when people truly understand that daily choices affect this system, they stop feeling helpless. They realize every time they choose a good source of protein or decide to manage stress better, they're giving their cells a break. It's empowerment at its best. Let's circle back to the supplement industry fiasco. It's become a bit of a wild west out there and we as consumers are the cowboys, but half of us don't have saddles or boots. Companies focus on glitzy marketing rather than substance. We've all seen the bottle that promises the moon and the stars, but behind the scenes, they're using bargain basement ingredients. So how do we fix it? Three big ideas, top-notch ingredients that are free from contaminants, advanced delivery systems that ensure absorption, and total transparency from the company. That last piece says, yes, we actually will tell you where we got these ingredients and how we tested them. It's really the only way we can fix that trust gap. Also, good brands usually minimize fillers and artificial junk. No odd colorings, no suspect preservatives, no weird binders. If a brand is proud of its process, They'll practically wave it in your face, and that's a good sign. It all goes back to the principle of focusing on quality. If you're serious about your cells, you give them the best possible fuel and environment. So if you're grabbing a supplement off the shelf and it claims to do everything short of walking your dog, you might want to investigate further. Absolutely. Because the path forward is about ensuring we're not just chasing illusions of wellness. We want real cellular health. That starts with feeding your mitochondria, letting them do what they do best, produce energy, repair tissues, ward off problems at the source. If you can do that, you're not just covering up the check engine light. You're fueling up for the road trip of life, where the scenery is vibrant health and robust immunity, not slow breakdowns and repeated pit stops. Let's help these mitochondria do their job so we can have more energy, more clarity, and fewer pricey illusions in pill bottles. If Dr. Mercola's message is about anything, it's that once we focus on cellular energy, we unlock the body's innate superpower. Which is a much better superpower than, say, the ability to find your keys while half asleep. Though, come to think of it, I'd still want that. But the real point is that the mitochondria are ground zero for genuine well-being. And we can't just keep turning a blind eye to that. Focusing on the root cause is the best way to transform your health for the long haul. No more whack-a-mole approach. No more ignoring the rumbling engine. Let's tune it up properly. So, folks, if you remember nothing else from today's conversation, remember this. Your cells are your personal team of unsung heroes. They're working behind the scenes every day, asking for only the bare essentials. Nutrients, rest, minimal toxins, and maybe a little less daily stress. They're not that high maintenance, but when you give them what they need, they'll pay you back with vitality you never knew you had. Next time you walk down the vitamin aisle, maybe ask a few more questions. Look for that trifecta of quality, delivery, and transparency. And if your prospective supplement brand turns into a deer in the headlights when you ask, where do your raw materials come from? You might want to keep walking. Because it's your body, your health, and your mitochondria. They deserve better than marketing fluff. And that's the wisdom we're gleaning from Dr. Mercola's insights today. Address the cells first, and the rest of your health follows. Well said. This brings us to the end of our deep, yet hopefully entertaining, dive into cellular wisdom. My parting thought, don't settle for living in survival mode. Use that phone charger for your phone, yes, but don't forget to keep your cellular powerhouses charged too. And to everyone listening, thanks for tuning in to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. 
where we remind you that feeling great isn't just about the right mattress or the right breakfast cereal. It's about fueling those tiny structures that power your entire existence. I'm Ethan, still quietly observing the intricacies of human behavior. And I'm Alara, hoping the comedic sparks we set off today will galvanize you to think differently about your health. Thanks for joining us, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.